Hi, in this video, we are going to find the limit of the square root of x minus 2, all being divided by x minus 4 as x approaches 4. When you are trying to evaluate a limit, the first thing you should always try is to take this number and plug it in for the x. However, in this particular case, when we do that, we end up with 0 on the bottom because 4 minus 4 is equal to 0, and that is no good because we cannot divide by 0. So instead we have to do something else. Let me show you what that something else is. So I'm going to rewrite it again over here. So we have the limit as x approaches 4 of the square root of x minus 2 over x minus 4. And what we're going to do is called rationalize. We're going to rationalize the numerator. And we know to do that because we have this, this funny square root here. So what we can do is multiply by the square root of x plus 2 over the square root of x plus 2. Notice that this cancels and it's equal to 1. So we're basically multiplying by 1, and that's why it's allowed. I'm going to go ahead and put these in parentheses, just for clarity. And there is a formula we can use here. Recall that if you have a minus b times a plus b, that's equal to a squared minus b squared. This is called the difference of squares formula. So here, this is our a, this is our b, this is our a, this is our b. So a is the square root of x and b is two. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches four. So it'll be the square root of x squared, which is just x, but I'll show the work, minus two squared, which is just four. Normally nobody shows this step, but I will show it to you in this video. And then a really common mistake is people forget to multiply the denominator, right? So don't forget to multiply the bottom, which is also called the denominator, by the square root of x plus 2. Very easy to forget that step. All right, this looks really weird. I don't know why I did it. I guess I was just trying to show an extra step, and I feel like it overcomplicates it because I'm just not used to writing it because I never do. So this is really just x minus 4 over parentheses x minus 4, and then the square root of x plus 2. And these cancel. And I guess you could plug in the 4 here, but that's a little bit sloppy. I'm going to go ahead and just write it one more time. And then we have 1 over the square root of x plus 2. All right, now we're in a good position, right? Because now we can plug in the 4, and we're not going to have that division by 0 that we had at the beginning of the problem. And that's the whole reason that we decided to rationalize, right, was to clear the, that bottom term so we could plug in the 4 for all the x's. Now that we can do that, we drop the limit sign. Remember, always drop the limit sign when you plug in the number. So this is 1 over the square root of 4 plus 2, which is equal to 1 over. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so we get 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. So we end up with 1 over 4, and that would be the final answer, I hope. This has been helpful, and if you want more examples like this, check out the book, Super Powered Calculus. The link is in the description. It's also available on Amazon. Take care.